Hi, this is James of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet, and I am here at the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeast New Jersey. And of course, our websites are www.myspace.com forward slash Mega Life 21, uh, www.youtube.com forward slash Mega Life 21, and www.newslettercensored.com. Get your subscription to the foundation of this entire organization right now, founded in 1977 by the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. With your gift to support this work, get your newsletter right now. Okay, the, the best way to be a part of our organization is in the newsletter, uh, discussing the five taboos of life, politics, religion, health, sexuality, and child rearing. Uh, you're never going to find this information in the mainstream media or read it in the mainstream press. It is the kind of information that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? So get it right now. This particular video is very unique and very important to me because it's a passion of mine, uh, including uh, many members of my organization. Um, it has to do with something that we despise, uh, particularly myself and a couple others in my organization, and that is Microsoft. Of course we hate corporate America and, and its greed, the greedy, evil, wicked corporate America, the, the big giants uh, uh, price gouging the American consumer, left and right. And Microsoft is no stranger to this behavior. Uh, they're very big, not because they're, they, they did everything the, sm the ethical way, by the book, by the book because uh, from what I understand, there's a lot of rumors floating around that Bill Gates, when he first started out, he stole ideas from his fellow classmates, fellow programmers who were affiliated with uh, Apple. Or what company were they affiliated with? His buddies that he took ideas and concepts from. Apple. Apple. Ripped them off and turned around and used them for Microsoft and took credit for it. Okay, so, but because of underhanded tactics and a lot of luck and I guess spending money, large sums of money on advertisement, and, and getting the, his operating system on all computers. And, and, and managing to get his operating system windows on all computers, that is right. Uh, so through chicanery and luck and weaseling and slithering around like a slippery eel, Bill Gates was able to turn his Microsoft into an empire. And now, you know, through advertisement, through constant advertisement, he's everywhere. His, his windows operating system is everywhere including his very problematic Vista let's put it this way Windows in general has always been a very problematic operating system and uh, what I hate even more about Microsoft's Windows is that every single program that Microsoft comes out with you have to buy it you have to buy everything separately you have to pay for every update, every upgrade of Windows, everything. It's, it's typical greedy American corporatism. It's, you got to pay for everything separate. But I'm happy to announce, besides the fact that Google is coming out with its own operating system known as Chrome operating system, and I believe I, I Hewlett Packard will be uh, displaying it in their computers. I'm very happy some some good solid competition is coming around but I just want to say that there's something even better out there that the average American the average person in the world probably doesn't know about simply because they do not advertise they do they do not spend money on advertisement can't afford it. and it's they, they can't afford it because it's not a company it's not a corporation per se it's a I believe a community of programmers outstanding programmers, a world community of programmers that have created these operating systems and they just keep on coming out of the woodwork, one better than the other, 
And this is Linux, originally a Finland company. A f no? Finland student. A student. I'm sorry, I said company. A Finnish student who was from Finland, of course. And this student was a programmer, uh, Esmeralda? Is that Torvald? Uh, Linus or is Torvald. Torvald the internet? Hmm? Torvald. Torvald, yes. Torvo? Torvald. Torvald was the gentleman that started. The person who started. The yes. person who got Linux off the ground in Finland? Torvald, Mr. Torvald. Okay. And then it grew from there. Now you have programmers in Germany. I think uh, OpenSUSE. OpenSUSE. Well, it's, it's open source. So anybody can add. Oh, open source. No, SUSE. I'm talking about the operating system. Yeah, that's a, that's a brand. But uh, I'm saying the, the operating system is open source, which means that anybody can add programming to it, code, make it better. Not right. Obviously, you would like to make it better, but anybody can do it. Okay, it's, it's open source. Anybody can, can, can contribute. And guess what? For every program that Microsoft Windows offers you at a price, Linux has an, a, an equivalent program to everything Microsoft has to offer. And the very best distro out there right now is Linux Mint. Normally, I, I was a big fan of Linux Ubuntu, but Linux U, somebody, the person who made Linux Mint operating system made it from Ubuntu because formerly Ubuntu was number one. Linux Mint is very, very uh, plug and play. Everything works on Linux Mint. Everything's ready to go. And there's a program that m matches everything that Microsoft has. And the way you get Linux Mint to work with Microsoft programs is what you have to do after you install Linux Mint for free and all its upgrades are free and all its programs are free by the way after you have Linux Mint which which works very fast compared to to uh, Windows uh, you install what they call the uh, the Windows emulator wine for short w-i-n-e you have to uh, download on the Windows emulator which is wine and then you can get uh, is it is it all with the Windows programs are they all programs that normally work on Windows emulator. Esmeralda, or the emulator or some of them some of this program work in the emulator all right some of which the is a virtual machine it's yes a, it's virtual. a virtual machine so some of the especially the most popular programs that normally are designed to work with Windows can work just as well, if not better, on Linux Mint using the Windows emulator, Wine, W-I-N-E. And so you can be Microsoft free and not pay any money. I have Linux Mint and I love it. I mean, I've had uh, uh, a computer engineer uh, uh, use Linux Mint and she loves it. Uh, a, a man that builds, custom builds computers uh, and, and installs the so software has switched over to Linux Mint and despises. despises Microsoft and got rid of Microsoft. So there you are. The evil empire Microsoft can be beat. It's just a question of people, Americans, being willing to learn something new and different and not being afraid to to change their ways and forget about the brainwashing of Microsoft advertising and all the stupid Windows commercials that are on primetime TV and just take the time to learn and navigate and get a familiar get acclimated with a different operating system that's faster that is not problematic that is not open to viral attack you know, um, and that works much faster and, and better, and, and, and it's just great, and it's free. It's free. Win Linux distributions are free, and right now, Mint is the most plug and play and the closest thing to a Windows alternative. So, other than that, we'll catch you on the next video.